<laughs> Welcome back. Thanks, Mike. Kelsey here from the T South Tahoe Drug Coalition, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So last time you were here, we were talking about this prescription take back day. Yes. And it's now coming up the end of this month. Yes, exactly. So April 29th is the Bijou Earth Day celebration. So we're going to be out in Bijou Park um, collecting any unused or unwanted medications. Um, we're going to have police out there. We're going to be handing out information. So we're going to try to make it a really good community event. And that's just one of those things to always be aware of in your home. Like I know any medications that I have, I have them for a reason, but your kids are going to get in there and that's a, that's a big problem, right? Right, exactly. Um, a lot of people think that just having medications in their house, um, what doctors used to tell you is to just keep it. You never know when you're going to need it, so just keep it around. Now, um, a lot of people are going through medicine cabinets. They're looking for that next hit. So you want to make sure that you're keeping that out of kids' hands. And if you see any unused medications that you haven't had to have um, since you had like a surgery or something like that, or it's expired, you want to make sure that you're getting rid of that and out of the house. Yeah, and even those little fancy tops and stuff, it was one thing when your kids were little, little, and you'd think, right. you know, it could make them sick and thank goodness they can't open it. Now they can if they're teenagers, right? They exactly, can get those tops exactly. Open. And it's like, yeah. it's not just your kids, it's their friends and anyone else who visits your house as well. You never yeah. know who could be at risk. Um, especially with the elderly, they tend to have a lot of medication sitting around their house and they have grandchildren that come over and they think it's really sweet, but those kids are really going through their cabinets. Right. So. But that's not even what you're here to talk about. What is, it's no. um, Alcohol Awareness Month? Yeah, so April is National Alcohol Awareness Month. So this month we have teamed up with CHP um, and we're trying to do an, a campaign with awareness just to let teens know to make the right decisions. Especially with prom coming up, we want to make sure that they are making safe choices, not engaging in binge drinking, and things like that. So. It, this conversation might be hard for some parents to start or have with their teens. Can you help with that? Yeah, absolutely. So you just want to make sure that you're being that friendly person to that kid. They don't want to have somebody telling them not to do something, but right. be aware of what they're doing, you know, be involved with their life. And if you see that they're getting into these kinds of things, you know, or their you friends, you know that their friends are something. Exactly, you yeah. Have you have, have the to conversation. have the You have to have that conversation with them. So if you look at our website, we do have a couple of different links that you can click on just to how to start the conversation. Um, and so that's kind of what we're really looking for. And you've partnered up with the CHP? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, because clearly they don't, we don't want anybody drinking and driving. Exactly, yeah. So our big focus this month is for the youth. I mean, with prom coming up, we really want to make sure that they're making the right choices and everything like that. So sure. CHP is a huge part of that. Uh, so R Officer Ruth Lore. Yes. She's yeah. been helping you out. We'll probably be checking in with her in a minute. Yeah. Um, she'll call in. So what's the website and what can we, what are we looking for on there? What's the most important pieces? Yeah. So it's www.bedrugsafe.com. Um, and for that part, we have a parent portion that just tells you about the information. We have different facts about different drugs. So you can kind of look it up, signs and symptoms, what to look for in your kids. And then also if you look at our Facebook page, um, you can see our different links that we post on there all the time. Like our page and you can get involved with everything that we're doing. And then the, um, the, the prescription drug pay, take back is April 29th yep. where? It's at Bijou Park and it's going to be from 10 to 3 p.m. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for coming by. Yeah, of course. Always Thank good you. to see you. Yeah. All right. We'll take a break. Be back with more Tahoe Today right after this. During its 22-year run, McPeak